let's start with just the keys and the chords that have secondary dominance. So five of something else. So we look at the tonicized chord first, which is a four, and the secondary dominant, which is the five seven of four. In the key of B flat major, the four is going to be E flat major. And the five seven of E flat would be B flat, particularly a B flat seven. So let's fill out the next one by ourselves. The tonicized chord is going to be a two, which in A major is B minor. And the five seven of B minor is going to be F sharp seven. We'll write out the tonicized chord first. B minor, and we'll just use accidentals if we need them. Moving on, E flat major has C minor as its sixth chord, and the five seven of C minor is going to be G seven. So let's write those out. C, E flat, G, G, B natural, D, and F. Pause the video here and see if you can do the next one on your own. Let's move on to voice leading. So we know that the five in A is going to be an E major. The five of E is B. We know it's going to be in root position. So we start with a B. We can leave the seventh and the fifth, the A and the F sharp respectively where they are. And make sure we include the third of the chord, a D flat. And we're resolving. A goes down to G sharp, F sharp can go down to E, and the D sharp has to lead to E because it's a leading tone. Pause the video here to try the next two by yourself. Pause the video again. Did you get the right answers? I'll have a timestamp in the description box so you can go back and listen to these two measures. Here I'm blocking off the first beat of the first measure and just taking inventory of the pitches that are present. So we have D, F, G sharp, which is really just a passing tone, A, D, and A. So to me that looked like a 6 in first inversion in the key of F. Going on to the next beat, I notice we have D, F sharp, D and A in the top voice, as well as C. So that looks like a D major 7 chord, which doesn't function in the key of F, so we'll come back to that blocking off the beats again, and taking inventory one more time. I'm putting parentheses around those notes because they're non-chord tones. They're just to add a little bit of interest. What we really have here is G and B flat, which is a minor two in the key of F, in root position.
So what we have in this measure is a 5, 7 in the key of F. Let's go back to that D7. It's a D7 going to a G minor. So how does D relate to G? Well, it's the 5. So if we have the 5 going to a 1, what we actually have is a 5, 7 of 2 going to a 2. We're tonicizing G minor for just one beat. And we have to make sure that we write this D7 chord in the correct inversion, since F sharp, the third of the chord, is in the, the bottom voice, we're going to write 565. Five. Now we can work on the questions. So the secondary dominant was in measure 72 in beat 2, and the Roman numeral, like we said, was 565 five of 2. The tendency tones are going to be the 3rd and 7th, so in D7 is going to be F sharp and C. F sharp should resolve to G and C should resolve to B flat. Looking at the music, the F sharp does resolve to a G and the C does resolve to a B flat. I'll put a link in the description for Scott Joplin's Solace, so you can listen to this piece in its entirety. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more content and like if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye!